Before Cara Delevingne became one of the highest paid models, she was raised in a high profile family which included her father, mother, two sisters and a brother in a luxury area in London. Her family tree is full of politicians, millionaires and important people but still, her idyllic childhood turned out to be smoke and mirrors. What seems to have been an easy youth was actually full of substance abuse, depression and frequent thoughts of suicide that follow her still to this day. Even now, after conquering the fashion world, she still struggles with the demons from her past. Stay with Curious Sips to discover the tragic story of Cara Delevingne's real life. Pandora, Cara's mother, is well known among the British upper class. Despite her status, she is a depressed person who has struggled with addiction and heroin and substance abuse throughout most of her adult life. Looking back on her mother's addiction, Cara Delevingne said, she was sick a lot, in the hospital a lot, and there were times when she would leave for quite a long time and I wouldn't know where she was. I remember my sister Poppy saying something like, mom used to do heroin. Once the problem of addiction started to affect the family, Kara's world began to have breakdowns. And at 16, her depression was at a peak, but she was pretending that everything was fine, becoming a professional in hiding her emotions and trying to be strong for the sake of her mother. It was the same time when she found her calling in modeling and acting. So much pressure at work and in school led her to suffer such a severe mental health crisis that her parents were forced to sign her out of school for six months and started giving her medications. But the medication had a negative impact on Cara's mood as it suppressed her emotions. Cara's mental health problems have caused a serious skin condition called psoriasis. This even could be a result of the inability to let out her negative feelings. And not only her skin problem was affected, but her modeling career was also a subject of jokes and bullying from her classmates. She described her teenage years to be on a roller coaster to hell. The rejection by friends she suffered and the bullying at school made Cara Delevingne obsessed with thoughts that were not suitable for her age. When I was a child, I was obsessed with blood and death, she revealed in a candid interview. This led to multiple episodes in which her wounds and her obsession climbed so high that she ended up having suicidal thoughts. I realized how lucky and privileged I was, but all I wanted to do was die, confessed Kara. Feelings of wanting to end her life made her feel so guilty that she began to hate herself inside and in order to ease the pain she felt, she resorted to self-destructive tactics such as smoking a full cigarette box and run until she passed out or go alone into the forest and hit her head against a tree and lose consciousness. Delavine felt a great greater sense of fear and agony than any other teenager. I hated myself for being depressed. I hated feeling depressed. I hated that feeling. I was very good at disassociating from emotion completely and all the time I was second guessing myself saying something and then hating myself for saying it. I didn't understand what was happening apart from the fact that I didn't want to be alive anymore. Unfortunately for her, asking for help did not result in anything good. She tried to talk to friends, but only was questioned, wondering why someone who grew up with so many privileges had those negative thoughts. Kara desperately wanted to appreciate all the good things that happened in her life, but her mental state continued to exert in dominance. It was as if there was something dark side inside of her that she couldn't dominate. While her sisters excelled in school, Delavine was the opposite. Her parents took classes to reunite her with mental health professionals. And as a child, she was misdiagnosed several times, until at 16, she was told she had dyspraxia a developmental disorder in which people have trouble coordinating their thoughts and movements. Which is ironic considering that she has made millions walking down the most prestigious catwalks of the fashion world. Cara Delevingne realized over time that the depression and self-destructive tendency run in her family. That's right, Cara goes through the same situation as members of her prestigious lineage which tend to go this way when something goes well in their life for a while. They would rather ruin everything to end it. Even today, Cara is struggling with her illness and she knows that she can never Never get rid of them. At least now she knows that she must strive to live and not let her demons dominate her thoughts. Now let's see our Curious Sips family. If you had the opportunity to give Cara Delevingne some advice, what would you say? Let us know in the comments and remember to become part of our Curious Sips family by subscribing to our channel. So until next time.